about um, seeing you all tonight and chatting to you all and I really wanted to be able to see you all. I mean, I probably could point it towards Anne um, and uh, get him to show you everything. <laughs> Um, but I think you probably want to see the products more than you want to see our faces, really, don't you? So we'll we'll concentrate on that for now. Defo. <laughs> um, Defo. So, yeah. Um, so I haven't nearly brushed his hair and everything. I know. Well, you know, I didn't even know that like, my face was going to be on. So I've not even had a chance to put my lippy on, have I? <laughs> well, um, yes. Well, you see, that's... Uh, but the thing is, I wanted us both to be on screen and I wanted to be able to stream it live to... Um, yeah. YouTube as well but it's just absolutely having none of it so um, so let's uh, let's kick off and um, we'll give you give people a couple of minutes just to to find us hello there hi is that a Zamara I'm not sure how to pronounce your name so I'm really sorry if I've said that wrong Judith is with us Danielle's with us Shani's with us Natalie um, I don't know if um, if Julie and, and Harry have, have found us again yet, I hope they manage to to find us. Let's just have a little slurp of my tea. Um, Anilla, hello, Anilla, how are you? Um, hi, Leslie. Um, thank you for coming back to us. Um, to see the new products and um, as you can see as uh, Annalisa has already said there are some adorable cards here these are just a small selection that I kept um, because the others have gone to um, create and craft so um, some of you might already know because I think I've probably mentioned it um, a couple of times that the new release is going to be um, on create and craft um, on Monday so that's channel 683 on Sky and I think Ant probably can remember all the different channels that it's on as well because it's also on Freeview um, and... Um, well, we'll post it because I can't yeah, remember it Yeah, we'll top post of it. I thought you knew it all. No. Um, <laughs> so, hello Emma. Um, so, yes, yeah, so the, we will be on, or I will be on because Ant's not allowed to come in with me. Um, I will be on um, Create and Craft on Monday... Um, the 18th at 3 p.m. for a 45 minute show and we'll be um, showing all of the new products there and um, they will be released on the website hi Tracy um, however we won't have the stamps on the website so this is something that you need to be aware of if you want the stamps now then you will have to get them from Create and Craft um, because they bought up basically all of my stock. So that means that um, I won't have any stock and none of the other retailers will have any stock until the 1st of June. So if you want to buy from me, then that's great, but you'll have to wait until the 1st of June. If you want them straight away, then you can get them on Monday on Creating Craft. But all the other items you will be able to get um, from, from us direct or from Creating Craft because Create and Craft have got some really good offers and some good, some good bundles. So, um, yeah, do look out for those. And if you're a member of the um, Create and Craft Club, then obviously you get extra discount as well. So, which I can't match, unfortunately. So, there are some benefits of, uh, of going to Create and Craft. So, um, so, yeah, that bit out of the way. Let's show you what we've got. So, I'm going to move some of these to one side and I'll show you these in more detail because these explain some of the fabulous products that we've got and um, that are coming up and I will say all of that again if you miss that um, yes Annalisa I know no stamp sets we've literally just they've bought up everything so um, it does mean then that uh, we have had to put them on uh, reorder but that's okay that's all good because you can still get them so don't worry Okay, so I'll show you the stamp sets first, shall I? Because um, they are adorable. So the first stamp set that we've got is one that I know that you're all going to love. Um, and that's the Crafty Cats. Crafty Cats and Kittens, as Aunt likes to say. Crafty Cats and Kittens. <laughs> Not my line, it's Carol Baskin. Oh no, well we don't talk about Carol Baskin. 
Um, <laughs> so, crafty cats. There are cats that are crafty and they're doing some crafts. I've got a little How bit... How did you come up with that name? <laughs> well, it took a lot of thought, as you can, yeah. as you can appreciate. Um, so yes, there. Um, I've got a little bit of tape stuck to my finger and it wouldn't go away. Um, so yes, yeah, so these are little crafty cats, and I shall bring them a little bit closer to the screen. Hopefully that you can you can see them um, a little bit better. How's that? Yeah, that's quite good, isn't it? If I put the card behind it. So we've got our three characters. Um, one of them here is holding a little paintbrush. One of them here um, has got a little card with a little heart that is made for you. And then this little chap here um, is ready to hold on to um, one of the other little um, items that we've got as part of the set. Um, so we've got the paintbrush, we've got a pencil and we've got an alcohol marker. So he can hold each of those in his little paws. Um, he could also be holding the little... Um, palette paint palette there um and then the other accessories that we've got we've got a little stamp we've got a um, little um watercolor or ink pot we've got the little uh, jar with the paintbrush in it we've got a little pot of glue and then we've got a little pot of pens as well with all your different utensils in it and then finally we've got this easel with um our little dog painted um, by one of our little cats really really sweet images and lots of fun to create with i feel like i've gone i've got stuck so hopefully you guys still can on. still hear me um and then we've got the sentiments that go with it so we've got the craft supplies before guys um handmade with love to my crafty friend sending crafty hugs I'm busy procrastinating, which is something I do an awful lot of. <laughs> so um, some really good sentiments to send to your crafty friends because we're all, you know, we're all crafters and it's really nice to be able to send something related to our own craft and something that we love to each other. So, um, so yeah, so I think uh, that some really great sentiments. But the additional thing that um, I'm hoping that you'll, you'll like with this particular set are the coordinating dies. Um, and this little little die here this tiny little die there that cuts out the paw of the um of the cat so you can pop your um your pencil or your paintbrush behind there and put the little paw in front so it looks like he's holding it so i just thought that was a, a, a nice little addition so that he looks like he's actually holding on to um one of those items so that's a really really sweet set and the team have gone absolutely just you know just mental with some of the creations um because they're absolutely beautiful um so this is one this is from sharon so sharon's produced this and she's actually used two other um Two other uh, of the new release, two dies from the new release, which I'll show you shortly. Um, but obviously we've got our two cute little um, little cats there holding the, their little cards um, and the craft supplies before, guys. And then all the different little craft supplies all dotted around, which is just a really, really cute scene. That's really lovely. And then what else have I got to show you with the cats? I've got a couple more with the cats. This one here again has used one of the dies from um, the new release um, and then just a couple of the little accessories with our cat and there you can see that's where the, the little hand's being cut out so that the, um, the pencil can sit behind there and send in some crafty hugs. And this one, and that was uh, that one's Shabniz has done that one, which is really cute. And then this one, this is Katrin's uh, done this, and I love this so much, and I had to keep it because I didn't want to, I didn't want to let this out of my sight. But it's a beautiful creation, lots of detail in there, lots of use of the other dies that are part of the set. Some of our um, uh, papers in the background. This is the Scattered Hearts uh, die from uh, the last release. Um, and then she's used um, some of the little paws. She's cut those out and used them as just like little paint splatters, which is another really cute idea. Um, 
and then created a little scene and uh, I just and that's a little uh, little ornament to hang up so 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 cute really really pretty that love it love it so much so that's that's your crafty cats really adorable Let's pop them to one side where's my little uh, pocket gone you just pop them in there so I'm so jealous as well because I've not had a chance to play with any of these yet <laughs> um, the, te the team have created all of the samples and they've done an amazing job so this is the second set which I know you're all going to want this is the bearing gift just on that one Danielle says ah clever in reference to the paw the paw oh thank how you how cool yeah. that is different Shani says love all the added extras you include in the dies Joe um, thank you very much Julie has finally found the right stream so I've just updated her what she's missed oh thank you sorry um it's been a bit confusing we'll figure it out eventually Catherine you've just missed me flashing your beautiful creation um i just love that so much so. um angie says eek kitty cats love heart eyes <laughs> in the cats jessica says you could easily put any image on any image you like in the easel just collage on top or yes. on the ink and stamp the outside uh, of the easel frame and canvas absolutely yeah that's a really good good shout you could just mask off that that center bit don't ink the center bit and you can have whatever you want in there oh baby um so yes yeah, so that's a really cool idea um so uh, that's a good idea that really one really good one annalisa says bummer looks like you didn't get mine yet maybe in yeah. a week or so i don't yes. think she was referring to me then i think she just meant that it was uh, <laughs> a shame that i would not got it yeah <laughs> Uh, adorable examples some really um and it's busy typing away and working hard love it yes that's it that's why I, the advantage of having him around you see and normally i don't get any extra help with that do i no um crafty cats made for me says allison um lindsay mm. says hi everyone just got here love those cats so adorable they are so cute they really are I uh, love them. julie says she's already got monday on the calendar remind us set the tv already fantastic well fingers crossed that it all goes goes well um and i get my demonstrations right for you do you know who you're presenting with yet? Is it no, all not now? yeah right, yeah sometimes it it does show early but we'll see yeah um so moving on to our bear this is uh, sets called bearing gifts because each of our little cute bears are bearing some gifts Just look how many stamps so you get in that set you get loads look how many you get loads so you get our four wow little characters um and i must admit that these bears um are i do really love these bears they are one of my favorites um so i can't wait to craft with these Jessica says the bear with the moustache looks like he wants an easel. Uh, yeah, he did. well, the thing is, you could combine them, most definitely. They are a little bit smaller, um, but you could still combine them with the easel, most definitely. They, he would work with that, and he could have his pencil or his paintbrush. So, yeah, you can definitely um, in, inter, interlink them. Um, but they've obviously been designed to carry some of these gifts here. Um, the little guy with the moustache as well, I have to say, um, is um, a homage to Ant, who likes to put a little moustache on all of my characters when he's uh, when he gets involved. So so we had to have one with a little moustache, didn't Yay, we? Yeah, I finally made it. That's it, you've made it onto a stamp set. Um, so they're all in different poses and they're all ready to um, hold one of the different items. So we've got a little bar of chocolate, we've got the coffee cup, we've got a bunch of flowers, we've got a cupcake, a big slab of cake, another little piece of chocolate, a donut, and we've got a little bag of sweets as well. And the reason why we've got all of these different um, elements is that we they match with each of these um these sentiments so the idea behind this is that you would be able to create a list of all the things um that you would be that you would find life unbearable without so the sentiment reads life would be unbearable without and then you can have um cake sweets chocolate coffee flowers and donuts or all of the above 
and then you've got um oh and you as well and then you've got a little checklist a little checkbox as well so you can list all of those things out and have a little checkbox at the side of them all um you could also have um bear with me i need cake sweets chocolate all of the above and again your little tick list Sending you bear hugs um, is a separate one as well, which is a really nice one to have. And the icon bearing gifts. So you could use those standalone or you could mix them with the others um, as well. And then you've also got this, um, this little heart uh, inside a speech bubble. And then an extra little sweetie for decoration because we had a little bit of space. So we make sure we fill every, every little bit of space. So yeah, so they're really, really cute um, and a lovely set to put together. Very interchangeable. If you want to just keep it simple and just have one, or That's if you want to use all four, you could use them all. Every single yeah. Stand. I mean, there's you know, there's what is a nine different different ones you could you one, could two, choose three, from four, there. Five, six, seven, eight. There's eight, eight main and ones, heart, and then you've got yeah. the love heart, and you've got the um, you've got the extra little sweetie. Yeah. Um, so the dies, um, obviously, it comes with coordinating dies. The dies cut out all of the elements. Um, even the little center of your donut is cut out there. Um, and then one of the bears, which is this little bear here, if you can see that, um, his little paws, it cuts around his, his little paws there. So again, you can slot in um, the coffee cup or the flowers or any of the other things so that he's holding on to those. So again, there's that other little extra element where, you've, uh, where you can um, add that into their paws. So just something a little bit different there um, again. But it's it's like Ant says, there's a lot in this set and there's gonna you're going to be able to just do so much with this you're going to get so much fun out of it and it's great for all different kinds of occasions just for sending some some hugs um for a birthday for an anniversary for a valentine's just for just because you know there's loads of different ways you can use it so so a really cool set that's it and you know the the feedback i think from every single crafter every single show that's ever been done is that there's not enough stamp sets out there for men, like no. to send to men. They're like, so the the guy with the mustache is perfect. He's still adorable. He's still cute, but also he's got a mustache. Also, he's got a mustache. Yeah, exactly. And some of the other sets that you've got, where you'll have got party hats, or you'll have got different um, accessories within um, your time for tea sets, will fit onto all of these characters. So you can mix and match them. Um, and I just noticed Annalisa had said that. Um, these are the perfect size to use in your planner, the little accessories, so like your coffee cup and things. Um, so yeah, and the little check checklist, you know, if you're writing lists in your planner and you want to, to check them off, then you've got a little stamp there that allows you to do that. So it's something I'd not thought of, um, but for people who do use planners, these are the perfect size for that. So that's a really good point, and Lisa, thank you. I shall make sure I mention that on Monday. <laughs> um, so there, yeah, that's really cool. Um, have I missed some uh, some Simon jokes? Uh, yeah, you missed a, a classic one, A actually. classic yeah. Simon joke. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A bear with no teeth, I don't know. A gummy bear. Oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that, though. <laughs> um, the uh, I've just had a quick thought as well, actually. Um, you could also use these to do gift tags. Yes. You know, if it says, I come bearing gifts. Yes, that's such a good have, idea. You could have a little, little a gift on that's there, a really so. good That's a really good idea. I might actually do something like that for a... Um, a demonstration yeah, one day. make sure you give me a shout out then i will give you a shout out so while we're on the um subject of our adorable bears this particular die set goes so well with them so this is a standalone die set that we've got um and like i said this one is uh, available in our shop um but also on creating craft as well so if you're going for like flexi pays and things like that then you want to chuck this in your basket um, they're also doing a bundle of all the standalone dies um, so look out for that but this is the mini gift box die set and on the um, on the screen it looks like well what what on earth does that make um, but it's so simple so easy it's the perfect size to fit through your um, 
your um, smaller die cutting machine. So it looks like a fish. It does it looks look like it cuts bit. out a fish. So you can see that's my plate from my snap machine and it fits perfectly in there. Not not a single problem. And what you're gonna what you're gonna make with it, I've got one example that I've kept hold of is this little gift box. So I'm hoping that you can see that um, and how cute that is. So the little the little dies that you've got here, they cut out a little aperture in the centre there, so you can have a little um, a little bit of acetate in there so that you can see um, whatever gift is inside. Um, but you can also use it to, obviously to decorate. Um, it's I'll open this one up so that you can see it when it's when it's open. Do you know what I can imagine being in that gift box? What? Like a little Ferrero Rocher. Yes, perfect for that. So you see, it opens up. This has just come a little bit unstuck, so because it has travel, it's travelled to get here. Or a fuel indoor. Yes, perfect balls. for little chocolates and things. Or mini Easter eggs, Annalisa Min says. Yeah, a cream egg would fit just delightfully in there. I think it would, you know, it would be perfect size. So it's, it's perfect for like little favour boxes or for just little treats. Um, it's or a boiled egg, if you want to send someone a boiled egg. <laughs> Why would you send somebody a boiled egg? You're so weird. Um, so, but yeah, that it opens up like that. So you you would cut two two of the um, of these this die shape and you attach those together and then it pinches together to close up. Um, which is really really cute um, and like I said these are two different shapes of aperture that you can cut this one here um, just cuts out a dotted line so there's no hole but if you wanted to just create a little bit of a pattern on onto your box then that will just create a little dotty heart all of these you can use obviously on other things you can use them on different cards um, to create a bit of decoration or to create an aperture to create a shaker card um, but obviously they've, they've been created for the perfect size to decorate your box but you can see just how well they work with the little bear because he comes bearing a gift so you can decorate it with the different different examples of what gift might be inside um, and then on the back this one says I come bearing donuts which is really cute isn't it yeah. so you can use the sentiment and mix and match the sentiment so that it um it represents what's inside i just so i just really thought, thought there as well you could um somebody somebody said you could put confetti spoon. in it but it made me think of like a wedding favors you know yes. like on the table you could fill wow. it with um someone just said jelly beans skittles oh so cute you know, those jelly beans li those little packs of love art sweets you can get as well what about those little gummy bears little gummy bears little yeah. gummy bears yeah um but yeah table presents at christmas simon that would be yeah. great um great idea i mean when i designed it i was thinking wedding favors and i know at the minute we're not in a position to be going to man many weddings or any weddings unless they're virtual weddings so but this will still be useful for all kinds of different um gifts um, and it just looks so sweet and they're so nice to, easy to make quick to put together um and just look so adorable once they're completed so um i do really love that one i'm loving all the ideas that people are coming up with yeah, to, to some use great it as well ideas. shani said if you stuck two together it could be a cracker oh yeah that's true yeah it could that's um, such a clever i've never actually thought about that but that is actually a cracker i know you were pulling your hair out of designing it. this and it was yeah. you know it took a quite a lot of patience and a few swear oh, words but you got do. there in the end yeah because you want to get it sized perfectly and everything to be perfect so um so yes yeah, so i know it was but it is it's turned out absolutely adorable and i love it so much and there's i don't know there's something about little mini boxes that um are just adorable <laughs> jessica says these are a must they are a crafters bare necessities hey, hey. bare necessities i love it <laughs> <laughs> so on um, on the show on uh, monday um the um crate and craft will be offering the dotty hearts um cover plate die which is part of the last release um as part of the bundle um because that wasn't on the um, not the last re release, it was the release before, wasn't it? That's right. Ah! Ah! Oh. Throwing all the plates.
away it's away um so yes yeah, so this will be part of the bundle so if you don't already have the dotty hearts then you may may get that as part of the bundle but you have seen that one so i'm not going to show you that one <laughs> um but the one that you haven't seen is this one and this is the xoxo so hugs um, and kisses hugs and kisses that's what xo is, is it is, is that what it's you know? i didn't know that no you're joking i didn't know that um, so I don't know if you can see, you should be able to see that I think that this cover plate die has got all it doesn't look like anything from the other side um, but from this side you can see all the tiny little XOs XOs and it will cut all of those to create an absolutely beautiful background so I'm going to show you um, that Yes, and Lisa, I know I've, I've skipped past the Dotty Hearts background, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, and we've got some absolutely beautiful examples. Did I show you any examples of the bears? I don't think I did, did I? No, you didn't. You got too excited. I got too excited. Ah. Um, so, well, you can see an example of the bears here, look. And the XOXO. So, in this example, which is from Natalie... Um, she's used um, the yellow background and it looks like an ink blended background um, behind the cover plate. It's exactly the size of an A6 card blank and it's got the rounded corners again. I love the rounded corners. Which is a, an extra little little detail. Um, but then if you back your, um, your cover plate with a colour, obviously it really brings out those, um, the design of the XOXO. And... She's even gone the extra mile on a couple of these and put in the centre dots of the XOs because obviously they, oh. they do cut out as well. Um, so you will end up with lots of lovely confetti um, with this die, yeah. um, which you can keep. But you don't have to put in the centres, as you can see there, that she's not done that for everyone. But it's just an extra little detail on the odd one, just really finishes it off really nicely yeah. um, and then the um, the scene on the inside uses one of the other dies that's coming up um, and obviously our little bears and a little um, a little mustachioed bear um, and another little bear holding on to um, the flowers there sending you bear hugs having a romantic walk in the yeah. evening yeah and I, I believe that she'll have used the um, scene it um or the uh, go on sunny side up again stencil to create her, her scene in the background so um i've got some exclusive news for you on the stencil front in the i know there's a lot of you that have been after the scene it um stencils you've also been after the rainbow stencil stencil has also been very very popular they are on reorder and they should be with us in the next two to three weeks so if you've been hankering after one of these stencils keep keep an eye out because there will be they will be back in stock soon the scenic stencil is the one that's got the sun in the middle the clouds and grass and hills around that's, the outside that's yeah? the very one just in case anyone just wasn't, in case sure. wasn't sure which one that was because you can build many scenes from it you can um, so this is another example with the XOXO in the background. No other images. This is actually um, from another die set, so I'll uh, show you that shortly. But the background just looks so stunning with those colours behind it. It's just it, it just shows you just how um, effective it is, and you don't have to make it any more complicated. It's really really simple. And then I showed you this one um, to begin with. This one with with the crafty cats. Um, and again, that's been used in the background with um, a, uh, like, a, well, it looks like it's been inked, but um, maybe a bit of watercolour. Um, I love how, how um, I think it was it Sharon, yeah, Sharon's created this, this effect and I'd love to know how she did it. She'll have to tell us how she made that background because it's so cute. So, and the, uh, just to show you some more of the, the little bear. Another Craft one of supplies the, before guys. Yeah, another one of the little bears. That's the, from the... Um, the Crafty Kits. Oh, yeah. Crafty Kits. Yeah, sorry. My bad. Yeah. Keep so, up. keep up. <laughs> um, this is another example of the little bears. And I just wanted to show you this because he's a little action wobbler bear. And he's holding on to um, his coffee cup. 
Um, he's got his chocolate and he's got his cupcake. And it says, I come bearing gifts, cake, chocolate, coffee, all of the above, tick. Yeah. He's got a little heart. That's really cute. That one is from Sharon as well. So really, really cute examples. So this this die um, you, is going to be really, really useful to create all kinds of backgrounds. Um, and if you're not sure of, you know, what background you want, again, it just makes it so easy. You just need to do a bit of ink blending in the background with your beautiful blender brushes um, and white cardstock with this over the top. And you've you've got it. You've got a card, and that's you're good to go. And then all you need is a couple of the the images or a sentiment, um, and you're you're away. So love that. Even if you don't want to do any ink blending, you can literally just put a, a put piece of card, card straight card, over it. Yeah. And boom, or some of the um, some of our patterned papers. You know, look yeah. really cool behind it as well. Um, so the final die in the set um, is this one, and it's our circle of love. Um, nesting dies um, and it's because there are lots of circles with the love sentiment in the middle and um, so yeah <laughs> that's where the name came from um, but as you know when I'm doing um, any kind of nesting dies I like to give you as much um, as possible and it's slightly different to a, your traditional usual nesting dies that you might get off the sh you know um, uh, from uh, you know as a standard if you like um, so that's why the centre portion, which the smaller dies we tend not to use a great deal, um, I've popped in the sentiment love. And it's a really, really nice script, hand-drawn sentiment, um, which you can see here. So on this example, um, we've used one of, the, one of the dies to create the circle, and all of them have got the stitching apart from the very smallest. Um, and then you've got the love sentiment there and that just looks it's a really nice size to create a good focal point for the center of your card and then for a majority of the other examples that I've got have used the the dies as well so this example here has been cut twice um, to create this frame and um, that would be the great for a shaker card um, but it's been raised up here to create a nice little um, little well for, for the little um, characters to sit inside. For this one here, again, to create your little background piece, um, two of the dies have been used there to layer up and create a little bit of a background. And this one that we showed you again, the one with the, the stitch um, around the outside has been used. And it looks like that's been done with some um, some of the adhesive foam to uh, and cut from that so that you've it's it's raised, um, which is a really good idea, and I really need to try that. Give it some dimension. Gives it a bit of dimension, and this card, this um, card, uh, I'm not well, card. It's a decoration. Um, has also been created using these dies. Absolutely incredible. Um, used a, lo a lot of them actually a lot of different sizes so the base itself has been been made using the dies the little um the little focal point here has been you it's been used there's a circle in the background there to create a little bit more um color i think there's been a couple of those used and then the rainbow itself has been cut from different colors um to create this beautiful rainbow so lots of uses of it there um, and it just looks absolutely fantastic so um, it just shows you you know how how versatile circles are um, for this particular card um, that's been cut out as a, a bit of an inlay to create the scene in the background so again you could use that to create a shaker if you were to raise that up and, and add a bit of foam in the background you could create a little shaker in there which would be a really cute scene as well and um, for this card from Elaine again she's used the um, two of the the circles there to create a frame for a little bear um, and she's also used the square nesting dies um, to create the background there for a, for a square card um, and then the final one that I'll show you which is so clever the blending on that is great it looks it's like graffiti gorgeous. it's really gorgeous isn't it they're all so good I love this background I love that you can just with the brushes. I don't you know whether that's like, a paper or creative. But there's, there's no lines, is there? It just beautiful. looks as though. It is. Yeah. Oh, that's... that rainbow one is really good. So yeah, this one. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse.
was me. Um, the rainbows have been obviously being created using several of these dies, and I, I, at the moment, obviously there are rainbows and um, bright. I don't know, just bright, cheerful cards are just what it's what it's about for me at the moment. I'm absolutely loving the trend for rainbows, and long may it continue. I've got a few other designs in, you know, for future um, with rainbows. So. Um, to look out for those but this is such a cute idea I absolutely love how this is being put together and then this little dotty heart in the middle is from the um, the little box um, die set so that was the little um, little dotty heart die that we mentioned before so I don't know if you can see it that no, well can you look, yeah, so let me come closer, closer. The camera, I wasn't, wasn't sure what you were on about it, you could you not see um, yes. so can you see that there just underneath the love We've got a little dotty heart. So, and that's that's using the die from the mini oh, gift yes, box. Oh yes, I see. What it's a really mean. pretty little detail that looks amazing, you know, um, in in real life. So, who's, who's just, done that one? This one is Catherine's. Big up yourself, Catherine. <laughs> so there's some absolutely gorgeous examples there um, from the team. So the absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh. There, like I said, there are loads more. These were just ones that I kept um, to one side just so that I could, I'd got something to show you guys tonight. But there will be more examples, obviously, on the website um, on Monday, but also on the TV as well. Which stands for television. <laughs> yes. Um, so these are the four four dies that will be part of the bundle on Crate and Craft. Obviously, you've seen this one already. That's available now. Um, but these these are brand spanking new. Um, so these are the ones that are available um, from Monday. So you've got all of those. We've got the two new stamp sets which um, come with coordinating dies. They will be available on Crate and Craft from Monday and in our shop from the 1st of June. And then... Um, Just in case anybody missed that at the beginning, Crate and Craft have bought all of our they stock. They've bought all of the stock. So we have with the stamp sets we will not have in our own shop until the 1st of June, June. but you can get them from Crate and Craft from Monday. From Monday. The show's on at 3, but it'll be available on the website well before from, Yeah, that. well before then. I think it, they, they go live from sort of 9 o'clock. Um, in the morning what I will say is they will make the stamps available on the website for you to pre-order um, but obviously they won't deliver until they're in stock um, so if you if you did want to do that then obviously you can and Elisa says he's gonna love a good old bundle that's it it is it will be you know a, a very good price so you know um, and then these um, uh, some brand new stencils that will be available only on the website because we don't do stencils on Crate and Craft. So these are three brand new stencils. They're so brand spanking new, they only arrived today. Um, so thankfully they arrived in time for me to show them to you. The team haven't seen them. Um, none of us have, have used them yet, but you're going to love them. They go beautifully with the new stamp sets and they will go really well with your previous stamp sets as well so um the first one that i've got to show you is one that i'm really 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 pleased with um is the flower burst so this one is going to be a really pretty background for a lot of your um a lot of your designs and i hope that you can see it on screen um i have changed the packaging slightly so that there's a bit of pink in the background so that you can see a little you bit can, better you can see it, yeah. so you can see it that's good show up better on black but it's not very sexy it's not it? very sexy on black is it no so this is uh, has got lots of little hand drawn um flowers and leaves in, in a random pattern um, and that'll just make for a really really pretty background um, for you so that's that's the first one Ooh. the next one that I know you're all gonna be love and this is one that I've been wanting to do for a while go on move down silly thing um, Katrina says she would watercolor that the flowers yes that's a really good that. idea um, let me just move that down a little bit so you can see. So this one is the brick wall. Um, and I've been wanting to do um, a brick wall stencil for a while. And I was a bit nervous about doing it. Um, but I feel like this has turned out really, really well. 
um, it's lots of different it's like a, a natural naturally built wall rather than a, a house brick wall um, so yeah. it's all all hand hand drawn higgledy piggledy yeah they're not very square are they Some no um, so <laughs> yeah that do, that doesn't fit with your OCD does it no. um, but again a really great background for all of your your little critters so again it's going to make really nice scene use it with your circle dies um, use it with the square dies that we've got use it with your masking stencils um, it's yeah you're gonna love that it's gonna make such a nice um nice background for a lot of your, your your scenes you could you could use it as an actual wall as well so just color like the, the first um four or five mm. into a wall and have the characters either sitting that's or standing it, sitting on it or standing or behind it. it yeah that's it poking up behind it you know yeah. the um like with a pause hanging the pause, over oh or that's such like a good that. idea there's so many things that you can do with brick walls honestly you this is one that is going to be a staple and i know i'm going to sell out of that one and i know i should have ordered more or you could do it <laughs> yellow and do like the yellow br the yellow brick a road. yellow brick oh yeah no you know like yeah. uh, alice not alice wizard of oz wizard of oz that's oh. it <laughs> this one again i hope you can see it this one is the splish splash stencil and the reason that i brought this one out now um is because of the paint drips and the paint splatters which will go really well with your crafty cats um so it has got a puddle and some raindrops which again can go with lots of different designs and lots of different things um but will also go very well with a, a stamp set that's coming up in the next couple of months so this again is going to be something that's going to work really well with future sets and existing sets. So it's one to definitely have in your stash. Um, but these little little splatters are so much fun to colour in lots of different different colours. You can have them all over your background. You can have different um, the different sizes overlapping each other. Um, you can use this one here and do like a rainbow effect with your little um, little crafty cats sat underneath it with the paintbrush there's just so many things that you can do with this um and like i say i'm just i'm really excited about all how all of these things work so well together um so yeah so that's that's basically that's it so I'm, i've no examples of this i'm afraid um because look, they're so new that we've not used them so, so new. new so julie's saying she loves the wall reminds me of a page you did in your positivity art journal when it where you did a banksy inspired page that, yeah exactly i mean this the, all of these will work with if your non-time for tea stamp set so you don't have to you don't have to use them with your your time for tea sets but they work perfect with those as well uh, the rain for the bears yep exactly yeah there's just so many uses for them katrina says she needs the stencils they're all gorgeous um and uh vicky says well done joe such a beautiful release thank you so much i'm so proud of it um it seems like this has been like around for ages now because obviously i'm now i'm, I'm now at the point where i'm working on july um and all of you know even June's release is already like old news to me. <laughs> so this is, you know, this is really, you know, been um, in the making for a while and I've been so excited to bring it because these are some of my most favourites, I think. Yeah. Um, and like I say, I'm so excited to use them and play with them myself because I'm so inspired by all of the, the cards that the team have put together. Um, I mean the cra the crafty cats. I mean if you love cats and you love crafting, then boom, there you go. Yeah, there you go. And who don't love a bear with a mustache? <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. Who doesn't love a bear with a mustache? Um, so yeah, so there's just there's so much for you to have a go at there. Um, oh, Alison, you've missed loads. Missed it all. Uh, but you can watch it all again if you if you uh, if you really want to. But so much to um for you to to play with i love this little guy in the matching wobbler as well he's yeah. very cute um good job he's got a lid on that coffee isn't it well, yeah that's true um i mean this the some of the accessories with the bears you can use stamp and use as backgrounds and just color those i know there's an example that um katrina did that had got all the 
the um, art supplies on a background and just coloured them all in. There's, you know, you're absolutely going to love colouring all of this in and the backgrounds are going to be so useful. Um, and then, oh, obviously there's our little, uh, little gift box as well, which is super, super cute. Um, so there, there you go. So any, any questions on any of it? I have, um, I've got a little bit of a, a cheat sheet that I've printed out with all the sizes of all my, um, the, the nesting dies, but I can't remember it off the top of my head. And I think it's somewhere in a pile of papers over by Aunt. But, um, but yeah, um, any, any questions, anything that I've forgotten to ask you? Heather says she can't wait until Monday. Yay. I can't wait until Monday. I'm so excited to, you know, for it to be out there and people to see it. And, and I, I really hope that, you know, people do like it. Um, because like I say, I'm, I love it. Um, so Harry's excited to watch the show with you on Monday. Yay. I'll have to um, do a secret, like little, I don't know, little Harry wave, <laughs> um, that, uh, he just, just, you know, what can I do? A little, like a secret, like a secret oh message, <laughs> like a little moustache. <laughs> um, no, it'd be great if you guys could watch. It's always nice knowing that you've got some support because I get so nervous um, and Aunt can't come in with me to settle me down. So, uh, but thankfully Dawn Wheeler will be there. She's, she, she's living there at the moment, bless her. So she'll be there to um, to keep me going. Yeah, I'll do a little thumbs up for you, Harry. <laughs> um, Jess says we'll be there on Monday. Um, Katrina says she goes back to work on Monday, but we're watching her catch up back to work, though. That's, that's positive. That's positive. Things are starting to go a little bit back to normal, maybe. Well, ask ask uh, Katrina if it's positive. She's the one that's having to come well, back to work. Well, that's true. It just feels like anything going back to normal is is a positive step, perhaps. Claire um, says she's just finished the first moveless card from the yay! order that arrived this week. Fantastic. Alison's going to be watching. Jess is cheering us on every time. Oh, thank you so much. And Danielle, absolutely bang on great samples from all the team they've done an absolutely cracking job and like I said these are only a small example and i will be taking these with me um on monday to show on tv so these are not um you know not going to be shown um but i wanted to show you guys something tonight as well so um because it, it seeing it in real life you know seeing it put together brings it to life doesn't it um better than just seeing the dyes or whatever yeah definitely um, I've, I've got to say each time we do a release the, the standard of the samples that we get back from the team are just they, they keep getting better and better they are they're amazing and they inspire me you know they they really do they you know they're they're so so clever so so clever yeah, um, some of the some of the mo some of the best ones are the most simple cards. You know that yeah. that one in there, the, the top left, I come bearing gifts. That you one. know the bear with a little coffee cup and the cake. Yeah, just holding them like that. Yeah, a couple of circles on a, on a couple of squares. Beautiful. Jobs are good in, but it's it's, that, the, it's the detail in it that's that's good. That one is just so simple, but I I absolutely I love that. I love the colours and everything. I mean, they're all amazing. But then, obviously, you can go absolutely to town, like this one, and I'm just amazed by that. It's absolutely stunning. So there's just so many things you can do, and that shows how it works with all your previous sets and your paper pads. This little um, this little gift box, by the way, I should also say, um, when I designed it, um, I had the pa the paper pads in mind. So this is just my little sample one, which is not fully, this was like the first kind of prototype. Um, but it's using the double-sided papers. So you can see then that you've got some color inside as well. Um, I don't know if you can see that very well. Like I say, it's just a bit of a prototype. Um, I don't think the lighting's that good for you to be able to see. But it just means then that you've got color inside as well and pattern inside. Um, so yeah, so it's really, if you've got any of the paper pads, this is really good for a good way of using that so that you've got color inside as well. So that was just a little, little thing that I remembered. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, so there you go. Um, so has that been that been all right for everyone? Apart from the the funny little start, we we managed to to sort ourselves out, didn't we? I think yeah. so. So yeah, thank you every ever so much, everyone, for watching and bearing bearing with us. <coughs> Yes, I like what you did there. Yeah, do you like what I did there? Yeah. Um, so we've got um, Judith is saying, lovely new things just realised. I'm on leave on Monday so you can tune in. Yay! Um, and Lisa is replying to... Oh, I didn't see what... Watching, oh, watching online. online. Yeah. Excellent. That's... Yes, yeah, so if you were in the... You know, um, you're not in the UK. You can watch online. Um, so um, we've got some some crafting being done. Um, are we are, are people crafting at the moment while they while we're watching, or are we um, are we all uh, just avidly watching, seeing what's coming up, and uh, counting how much we're going to spend? <laughs> um, I have got a, um, a, a card to share. I think maybe do a little bit of a an additional post next week once I'm back. Back from uh, creating craft and things return to normal a little bit. And Lisa's crafting and, and chatting. Jess is crafting as always. Yes, you are, you're always crafting. I love it. Um, finally brave cutting your papers today and made another box up so it looks pretty with the papers. Ah, oh, fantastic. That's it. Your papers, you do think, I don't really want to cut into them. You just want to keep them, don't you? And just look at them. But they're there to be used, so you need to do that. Um, so Jennifer says you're organising a Prismacolor pencils and loving all the goodies, yay! Um, I'll just show you this, this is a little card that I've been putting together. This is from um, the previous release obviously, but it's using some of our square nesting dies and our little panda and then the diamonds are forever. So yeah, that's just a little bit of... A little bit of a card that I've been been working on, um, as when we were doing a doing a little bit of a crafty chat with um, Amy from Crafty Purple Frog and Leslie from Heffy Doodle. So yeah, we were having a little bit of a craft along. Um, so yeah, but I didn't get a chance to finish it, unfortunately. Um, but I did finish the one behind you. Did you grab me the little hamsters? I'll show everyone the hamsters before we go. That one, yeah. Oh. oh, I didn't realise <laughs> that's how they're attached. The magnet inside. And then this was the other one that I did, which I thought was really cute, with the little hamsters. And then are you, this is the an example of the dotty hearts actually. So this is if I get a bit closer, you might be able to see the dotty hearts. Can you see it? Can you see them? I have to move it around a little bit. There you go. There you go. I had it then, and I've lost it again. There they are. Um, so yeah, they're just really pretty, really pretty little detail. And then when you ink over them, the the detail really comes out. Um, and I've used the heart grid mask to do the little hearts there. Um, and then obviously all the I used my zig um, pens to colour in my little hamsters, um, and then just used some inks to make my my little background for my sentiment there so yes yeah, so that was a really fun one to do it was really cute really easy to do so that I just thought I'd share that with you while I was here um <laughs> so there you go so Alison says she's been crafting with her my stamps that's why she was late oh. so there you go well that was a good that's a very good reason to be late um Julie says, I live in my craft corner in half a front room, lol. Been stamping out loads of images earlier. I love that everybody's crafting along and has got lots of, got all the, the time for tea goodies out and crafting along with it. That's really cool. Um, right then, I think we'll call it a night then. I think now we've, we've gone through all that. Thank you so much for joining us. It's been so great to have you, um, you know, just see everything for the first time. Um, and I'm so happy that you're all loving it. Um, I shall see you on Monday if I don't see you before. Um, <laughs> Ants had to run away. Um, but yeah, I will see you on Monday on Creating Craft at three o'clock. 
thank you ever so much for your support. It means so much that you that you're supporting us, um, because we wouldn't be able to produce all of these new items if it wasn't for all of your support. So thank you for your feedback. Thank you for your custom. Thank you for joining us on these um, Facebook lives because um, they really do make my week. So thank you everyone so much and stay safe. Um, look after yourselves and keep on crafting and um, hello Amy we're about to go <laughs> but um, yeah we'll see you there see you on Monday guys thanks a lot bye bye now bye